Hey guys, and welcome back. So I'm a bit behind on my game pickups video. I missed June, so I'm going to fix that right now, and we're going to do the June pickups. And I picked up some pretty cool stuff, so let's get at it right now. Okay, so first, the first stack of games, I guess. And I got a lot of PS2 games. I was in a big PS2 uh, kick, I guess. But uh, the one I got, a Nintendo GameCube game, this is the only one I got, is uh, Intellivision Lives really great game for those of you who remember the Intellivision and I actually never had an Intellivision growing up I had uh, my older brother's ColecoVision which kicks ass and I wish we had a ColecoVision collection because that would be sweet but anyways it's got like old school games like boxing and baseball Astro Smash which is a great shoot 'em up type of game um, Star Striker, Space Armada the games that I really like are uh, Snafu which for you Tron fans out there, um, basically it's like a surround game where you try to surround your uh, opponent with your own color so that he runs into your, uh, I guess you create walls, so it's kind of like the snake game, you don't want to run into your wall, you don't, you don't want to run into your wall or your opponent's wall. Anyways, uh, that and Tower of Doom, which is like a D&D &D type of game where you start at the top of a tower and you got to make it all the way through the dungeon levels and all the different other floors. And you can avoid monsters, or you can kill them if you want. Uh, and there's tons of different classes, and they each give you like different starting equipment and all that. It's a lot of fun. So in Television Lives, really great pickup. Next up is a game that I haven't played too too much because I was busy with some other ones actually. Is uh, Twisted Metal Black, which is one of probably the best run and gun driving games on the PS2. And like I said, I haven't really delved too deep into this one, but uh, I'll I'll pick it up sooner sooner or later. <laughs> I find the time. Uh, another game that I was actually looking for the first one, but I found the second one is Midway Arcade uh, Treasures number two. And like I said, I'm still looking for number one because it has, uh, I believe it has Robotron 2084, which is what I want to get my hands on because I actually don't own a copy of it and I want it. But I found uh, number two and it's got like Rampage and Rampage World Tour, which is a sweet game on the N64, Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. Uh, Arch Rivals, Pit Fighter, remember Pit Fighter? That was a horrible game. Uh, Wacko, Hard Driving, Championship Sprint, Zybots. Zybots is a kick ass game. Just a lot of great games from Midway. And yeah, I'm looking for number one and number three actually. They released the third one a little bit later on. So moving on, uh, we got the Sega Classics Collection, and I've been in a real mood to pick up these different compilations and anthologies and these collections. And this one's got a lot of remakes from like Golden Axe, uh, Column, Column, sorry, Fantasy Zone, which is another kick-ass game I just got into for the first time. That game rocks. Um, Alien Syndrome, Monaco GP, Racing, Virtual Racing, Space Harrier, Outrun, and uh, Bracey, Retro Snow 3. Really likes the Outrun, and I, uh, I really got addicted to Outrun. Sweet game. Moving on. I know, uh, for some reason, I was in this pinball mood. I don't know, I, I, you know, if you don't actually have a, or own a pinball table, I guess the next best thing is video games, right? Video pinball. And this is the uh, Gottlieb. Features seven or eight tables, and, you know, it's okay, game. Okay? It, does, it does justice. And last but not least in the PS2 stack is Drakengard 2. It's a uh, hack and slash beat em up mixed in with some, uh, like, legend... Uh, what the fuck's that game called? Uh, Legend of Dragoon? Not Legend of Dragoon. Anyways, it's by Sega, where you ride a dragon and all that. I can't remember what that that game's called. Anyways, it'll come to me later. I'm sure you guys will let me know. But anyways, yeah, really fun stuff. Um, a lot of different endings. I beat I beat the, the game once, but you can clear like two or three more times to get better endings. And uh, four playable characters. There's like... No way who's got the uh, daggers and the swords. Uh, it's no way uh, Yurek who's got the axe, which is my favorite character, and he wears a mask and he's fucking awesome. Um, Eris who wields the spears, and Mana who is the mage, so she wields the staves, staffs, whatever. And uh, a lot of fun. I highly recommend this game by Square Enix Ubisoft. And yeah, pick yourself up a copy, Dragon Guard 2. I actually never played the previous one, but. I played this one and I wasn't lost uh, story-wise. You know, I I caught on pretty quick. So, uh, Dragon Guard Two, good stuff. 
Now, I am a huge sucker for anything Nintendo Power related, and my buddy found this in his uh, mom's basement, and he didn't want it, so he gave it to me. This is the Nintendo Power issue, I believe, volume 13, it looks like. Yeah, 13. And it's an entire issue, Nintendo Power, dedicated to Super Mario Brothers 3. And it's in a very, very rough condition, but I don't care. Because it's Nintendo Power, it's old school, and I love it. And I've been flipping through this thing, and... Man, there's just so many secrets in different areas that I just didn't know about, and I didn't find when I was, you know, playing through the game, oh, so many years ago. And I love it. I love these old-school Nintendo Power issues. So, yeah. Also, he uh, gave me this nice little guide, and it's the Holy Bible of NES game guides. It's the official Nintendo Player's Guide. And this has chock full of stuff. I mean, when this was released, there was about 90-plus-ish Nintendo games, and this thing rocks. It goes into detail with a lot of them, like Kid Icarus and Castlevania, Rygar, uh, Ring King, Double Dragon. Oh, wait a minute. Is that Double Dragon? Oh, no, it doesn't have Double Dragon. It has Double Dribble. <laughs> That's a horrible game. Oh, man. Commando, Punch Out. They got great strategies for Mike Tyson's Punch Out. The Legend of Zelda as well. I mean, yeah. If you're an NES fan, do yourself a favor and find a copy of this book. It's just even it's just a great little read to thumb through. Great stuff. All right, so a few more things, and I was on a huge kick of getting plug-in and play games. And you know what? Before I show you them, uh, I saw a video by Metal Jesus Rocks, who's a great YouTuber, a phenomenal YouTuber here, and uh, he showed off his collection. And uh, I've actually found quite a few of these plug-in and plays he was showing off and I want to show you this one right here and I only got one hand to show you this with but it's the Genesis collection now the downside is it's only a, it's only got two games but one of them if you can see that is Street Fighter 2 and it's actually Street Fighter 2 Dash and that game rocks it comes with two uh, six button pads as you can see one red one blue and the other game which to my surprise was uh, it's ghouls and ghosts on the Genesis. I always get these two mixed up. Is it ghosts and goblins or ghouls, ghouls and ghosts? I'll say it is ghouls and ghosts. And uh, yeah, because ghosts and goblins is on the NES. So yeah, ghouls and ghosts. And I've never actually played that game, and I don't have it in my Genesis collection. And I was just floored. I couldn't believe it. I actually own it now. And this thing rocks. It's just a mini little Genesis. I love it. I love plugging and play games. Here's another one by Namco. Um, Nice little stick and it's got the nice little decal art at the side. I love that stuff. And it's got Pac-Man and uh, Galaxia and things like that. Dig Dug's on here too. So plug and play games. I love it. And the last one is the one that's my favorite. It's another one by uh, Namco. It's got Miss Pac-Man, Pole Position, Galaga, uh, Xevious, and Mappy. And I'm going to show you this here. The joystick actually twists. See that? It moves. It twists. Now that's for uh, pole position. That's how you actually uh, control the car in pole position. So that's really fucking neat. I really love it. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for the uh, game pickups. I really love those plug in and play games. I'm going to keep my eye out for another one. I, I heard there's an Intellivision one, so I'm going to. I'm going to keep my peepers open for that one. So, yeah, uh, Max Impact 24. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun making it. Um, I will be back for the July pickups sh very shortly. And uh, keep subscribing. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again.